Most technicians are familiar with basic alignment angles like camber, caster, and toe. But what about those angles behind the scenes? SAI or steering axis inclination and included angle. These angles can be invaluable when you are looking for steering or suspension components that are bent. Steering axis inclination or SAI is the inward tilt of the steering pivot line, usually drawn through the upper and lower ball joints or strut mount and lower ball joint. It's a fixed angle that is measured from true vertical. Now included angle is simply the SAI measurement plus the vehicle's camera measurement. Now here's why it's important. On a stock vehicle, SAI doesn't typically change unless a part is bent or out of place. If you find significantly out of spec camber or caster measurements, take a look at SAI. Even if your vehicle does not list a specification, compare it side to side and chances are you'll find a substantial deviation. So how does this information help diagnose stubborn alignment issues? As long as you know what suspension type you are working on, you can use these angles to help guide you to the issue. So for instance, if you're working on an IFS Chevy pickup and your SAI is greater than spec, camber is less, but included angle is okay, well then look for an upper control arm that is bent. Now, working on a late model Civic with a McPherson strut and SAI is okay, but both camber and included angle are greater than spec, you can look for a bent spindle or strut. So don't overlook these valuable angles. SAI and included angle are great indicators for bent or out of place parts and hidden damage that's hard to see with the naked eye. I want to thank the folks at LaunchTech USA for sponsoring this tech tip, and until next time, thanks for watching.